Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. It's Norm McGuire the North, and I'm doing this video. This is Saturday, so you're going to see this on Sunday, so tomorrow. I'm going to give this video a probably what I'm going to consider the most controversial thing in the game. Um, and quite frankly, no, it's not the CV rework and it's not submarines combined that doesn't match this in the complaints you're going to get. And no, it's not matchmaking. It's the only beef I really have. This is about containers, loot box, gambling. So I started making this video and the concept of this video well over 18 months ago, maybe even close to two years now. So what I did was I decided in May of last year, uh, May, 2024, to go through every single event from that day forward and track down every single game mechanic for loot boxes or gambling or whatever you want to do, whatever you want to call it. I took the event, took all the rules, and what I did was I started playing math. Now, I'm no statistician, 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 I just can't say that word, and I'm no math professor, but like anyone else out there, I have Excel and I have Google, so I knew a lot of the formulas and Google helped with the rest, so what I started doing was tracking every single event and then doing the numbers. What's the odds of you getting that ship you want? What's it going to take? Now, Wargaming has been accused in the past of rigging that game. This event alone, that the uh, In Name of Tomorrow, which is, this is fantastic. If anyone from Wargaming is watching, I'm having a good day. I'm going to prove to you day, today that Wargaming is not rigging the loot boxes or the gambling mechanics. They're not doing that. It's not hide behind a paywall. They're not rigging it. I can say that right now. They're finally not doing it. I do have proof all the way back to May of 2024 that they are not doing it. If anyone wants to come and talk to me, I'm more than happy to, and we'll talk about it. But that's a fact, not fiction. What I do want to talk about is what are the odds? And this event is how I'm going to break it down for you because this one's straightforward, really easy. Some like the Inchon have been very frustrating, um, angry. You know, I, I don't like that one. I should have had the Inchon. That's the only point I didn't have. So, hey. Now, for this one, I'm going to go and show you what I'm talking about first. So, let's go into the Armory. And then we're going to go into the Name of Tomorrow. And you'll see these, these, these boxes. The war is over. Crates. These are the most important thing, our containers. Now, I'll be the first one to admit I do have them now. But I did not have the uh, Barfleur. Barfleur. I didn't have the Archangel. And I didn't have the Royal Sovereign. These are the only three ships I didn't have. But I wanted them. Now, I've added these up, and these are not exactly what I'm going to say free. Um, if I had decided to buy all these, they would have been 84,010 doubloons, and that would have cost me $440. So, still kind of a deal based on things like the Inchon or the things I've had to do, right? Again, not the end of the world. However, if I just scroll back up here again, so bear with me because I got the keyboard going. I'm just going to go into one of the crates and show you this. So this is what you're going to get, and these are the ships. This is the one group, and this is the second group, and that's important. Now, the other ships you're looking at are, where'd they all go? There we go. Thank you. I have, or have, the Missouri. I have the Rodney. I have the Haida. Love that boat. California, not so much. Belfast 43 I have, and just got some good buffs. And, of course, I have the Nelson, which you saw in the very beginning of the opening shot. There may be a video coming out about her very shortly. Now, out of these, bo these boats, I did not have the Barfleur, I did not have the Royal Sovereign, and I didn't have the Archangel, but I wanted them. Now, these groups are based on two things. First of all, the chance of getting these boats right here is 1%. The chance of me getting this boat is 1%. The chance of me getting these two boats is 6%. You follow me so far? 6% chance. So if I buy one of these crates, I have a 6% chance of getting this boat or getting this boat. Not this boat, I already have it. But it counts. So what's important about this entire system is taking that 6%. So I took that 6%, not the 1%, but I'll give you the entire thing in a minute because I wanted all three boats. And I'll give you the 6% how the breakdown works down because you can guarantee get one of these boats in 40 crates. So what does that mean to you? Well, let me put it to you this way. After one container, that's a 6% chance. After five containers purchased, it's a 26.6% chance. Now, after 10 containers, you're at a 46% chance of getting it. At 20 containers, 71.5. At 30 containers, 87.5. At 35 containers, you're at 92.7% getting it. So the chances of you not getting it at the container point or not chaining, or not getting the actual ship you want at 40 containers, well, there's a 94% chance you're going to beat the 40 containers. 
To do that, you have to go look at the price. So if you're starting to get up to 40 containers, you're paying too much. You've actually should have gone through the Admiral pack. But when you start getting into only 10 containers, you're already at 46% chance of getting the ship or a ship you want. That's just one ship. Now, how does that work for what I wanted and what I was doing? Well, I want to break the numbers down for you. First of all, I got all three ships in 54 containers. Now, I got to put this out to you just so I you understand based on 54 containers. So if there's just a per container probability of getting the Royal Sovereign, I had a 0.857% chance. The Archangel, 0.857 as well. And I had a 0.5, half a percent chance with one container getting one of those ships. Now, 54% of the containers, or sorry, 54 containers, me getting the actual Royal Sovereign and the Archangel, I had a 37.18% chance of getting them. Uh, not great, right? The Belfour, 23.71, but I got them in 54 containers. So prove that Wargaming doesn't cheat in these containers, to be blunt, in 54 containers, I had a 3.3% chance of getting all three boats in 54 containers. So Wargaming doesn't cheat. So, you know, yay. So I'm happy with that. I think it went quite well personally. I think that this whole thing went well personally, if I'm being honest. I mean, I managed to save $152.56, which is outstanding in my opinion. And what's kind of important to me more about this, this event is one, I've proven that Wargaming doesn't cheat. Two, I have a methodology and to check my math, I did go into ChatGPT5. Um, it now has the ability to act as a PhD or professor. I'm no statistician. Yeah, I think I just said it right. <laughs> Woo -hoo. And I'm no mathematician. But what I did was take my Excel sheets, go into it and analyze it and get the formulas. It told me it was correct and I was out by 0.1% as a base error. That's statistically perfect. So I'm happy. However, I've now proven that it was cheaper for me to use the uh, the, the containers, the, the loot boxes, we're going to call it. So yeah, I saved $156 and change. But I'm going to take one step further. And this is what I want from you and the community. And I want to hear it down in the comments. I now have the capability, the history, and the formula to go through every single event going forward. And I can break down for you based on how many ships are in the event, right? You know, what ships you're going to get, what's what's important for you. I mean, there, there's seven in total. Like, what ships are involved? I can give you all the statistics. So if you don't have this one, you would have got the ship and, you know, as I first read, read down to you about 40 containers. I'm offering to actually do this as a video at every event for you guys if you want and tell you the breakdown. Not just have people complain about loot boxes or game mechanics or whatnot or being upset about it. I will tell you what your statistically chances are and I'll be accurate to 0.1%. So it'll, it'll tell you where you can actually do and what's more beneficial. So down in the comments, you tell me if you want to see those videos because I think that's important. No, Warren Gaming doesn't cheat. No, they're not rigging it. And hey, you do have a chance. I just saved 156 bucks. So there you go, guys. Let me know down below if this interests you. Um, I was debating whether I was going to put this video. If I'm being quite honest, I don't want to have a controversial video. But you can gamble and, and win ahead. And sometimes you can gamble and not do it. For instance, I'll be blunt before I end the video here. If you had none of these ships and you wanted to do the actual containers, you're going to get hosed. Okay, so that's a fact. I can prove that now with math. Uh, math doesn't care about people's feelings. It's just factual. So tell me down below. As always, thanks for watching. Take care. Stay safe. I wish you all the best. Bye for now.